You can't tell me nothing, I'll stay down. You can't tell me nothing, I'll stay down for that coma. You can't tell me nothing, I'll stay down. You can't tell me. Let's do it, sis. First one, my nigga. Let's get it. After my intro, you come on in, man. Yes, 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 man. It's Noble Creative Museum TV, man. We back. We in a new spot. Hey, man, we upgraded things for y'all, man. You know? It's Bosses from Air Vlog. We're exhibiting the culture stories. This is about music discovery. You know what I'm saying? This is what our platform's about. And, yo, it's the first time. I'm really excited for the first one. No funny shit, because it's somebody that I've written about in WBUR. Um, I've been watching Bro Grind for a couple years now. He's a, he's a lethal, lethal, lethal lyricist. And no funny shit, I got my guy, Kill the Artist, man. Kill, man, pull up, man. Pull up, big dog, pull up, man. How you feeling, brody? You know what I'm saying? Grab that mic, grab that mic, grab that mic, man. You know what I'm saying? Let, 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 me, let me actually, you know what I'm saying, turn down the acoustics real quick. Grant yeah, today, yeah, acoustics. You feel me? But talk to me, though, bro, man. How's how, like, for one, it's, it's, it's known like a motherfucker outside, so yeah. I appreciate you pulling up. Yeah, nah, even nah, still, you, no man. issues, we you know what I mean? Through, you know what I mean, my no nigga, excuses. dog? No sniffles, my nigga, yeah, dog. Yeah, we no good excuses, to go. No excuses. You know what I mean? We gonna get to work. Nah, I had, I had, a, I had my, um, my Latin Academy basketball coach, my nigga. Shout out my man, um, D Bunker, my nigga, dog. Yeah, but yeah. he, um, he used to rash niggas during practice, nigga. Like what? Y'all niggas ain't coming to practice cause y'all had the sniffles. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he used to rash niggas for that shit. He left so you with a mentality though. A hundred percent though. hundred percent. hundred percent. And it's funny cause like he was a young coach then, so he felt like he was wild like. Just harsh on niggas. Yeah. Like we went back, and the niggas like uh -huh. a couple years older. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He done, he, done, he done toned it down a little bit. Yeah, exactly. We look at him like like who is this guy? You know what I'm saying? But it's dope though. It's dope to see his growth. But I digress, man. I digress, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, dog. Nah, that's dope. Man. You know what I mean? Um, like, where did you go to school, bro? Where was you at in high school and shit? I went to East Boston High. Oh, you're an Eastie nigga. Yeah, yeah, but I was Okay, there, so you was with Ellie and them nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was like a grade ahead of me. Yeah, yeah type shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I went talk there for that. three years, and I went to Southie my senior year. That's fire. Yeah, that shit was like night and day though. Hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent, my nigga. But, yeah, but, I, yeah. but I mean, shit. Like, what's uh? I mean, ah, damn. I mean, East Easty had a lot of talent, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, Easty sure. had a lot of talent sure. over Especially there, at dog. That time. Who, who's all right, all right, all right. So, time. who to you was like, honestly, the baddest in the school, bro, dog? Like, who was that one that you remember that everybody was on her back, we, nigga? We ain't gonna do that. <laughs> We, I ain't gonna specific, but there was a few. There was a few. There was a few, nigga. There was a few, nigga. Nigga said, nah, 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 nah. We can't give no accolades. We can't give no accolades. Shout out to all the shorties from East. Nah, I respect it, bro. I respect it, man. Shout out to the ones that had the glow up later, too. Okay, sock that shit. Yo, the glow up later is real. The shorties that had the braces back then. Now that, you know what I mean? Like, that type of shit. I always have my own shorties with the braces. I ain't gonna hold you on. I knew. I knew. I knew I knew where the road was leading. You know what I'm saying? I was with, I had the braces, too. So I remember. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Like, oh. Girl, <laughs> nigga hit niggas with the Kool Aid smile yeah, every two yeah, seconds. Yeah. Respect, bro. Damn it. <laughs> but nah, man. Um, just, 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 just getting into things, bro. Just getting yeah, into things, yeah, bro. I appreciate yeah, you sure. pulling up once again, bro. Yeah, um, yeah, nah, a little space. Bro. Look, man. A little space. Before we get into things, actually, make sure y'all are leaving a like on this video for real, for real. Commenting, mm -hmm. subscribing. Right. You know, we getting things um, back up and running. You know how long we've been, you know, keeping this run going. The Museum TV, Boston's premier vlog. Um, it's our 10th year anniversary this year, February 1st yeah, coming. Yeah, um, now, nah, you know, I definitely congrats appreciate that. that, bro. You feel me? Yeah. Um, but, you know, I, I, I really want to pivot into just mm -hmm. more so, like, you know, like where we started at. And that was mm -hmm. really just um, like music discovery, bro. Like, because when we started, it was about just trying to figure out what was even going on in this the scene. scene right? You okay. know what I mean? And we got to a point where everything was about, you know, we gotta get a big interview. We gotta get yeah, a big interview, yeah. and that, not that's cool and yeah, all. Yeah, that's cool. But it really took away from the essence of you know what we were trying to do from the beginning, and, yeah, and um, I, right, I, I I could feel that effect. So, yeah. um, you know, stories like yours, bro, has always been something that you know um, I feel like is a direct representation of what we do, bro. Mm -hmm. Somebody that you know is just fire, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like like just. I know you're doing a lot of shit on your own, my nigga. Yeah, for you sure. know what I'm saying? I know you're doing oh, a lot of shit on yeah. your own. So right, I just feel like your story embodies exactly the type of artist that we would want to, you know what I'm saying, support, yeah, bro, for sure, it, man. man. But um, go, getting, into, getting into the music, bro. Mm -hmm. 1900 Hustler. Yes, sir. That's bro's um, project that honestly had me just, just, just definitely sold on bro's sound and yeah. like what he got going. Mm -hmm. um, that came out in April of 2023. Yep, you know what I mean? Yeah, we um, and we 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 did the write up on WBUR for that yeah, for sure, bro. Because I was definitely big, compelled man. I that much, man. I wasn't expecting that, bro. Nah, respect. Yeah. I, and that's that's how I like to move, though. No there funny shit. There's a lot shit. of good 
tapes and shit in the city too. So that's a fact. Shout out C4 too. You know yeah, C4 is my dog, man. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Spirit of a warrior. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Put in work TV. Too. You know the vibe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but um, shit, bro. So I mean, take let's take it back real quick. Mm-hmm. Like in terms of Boston music. You know history because you know what i'm yeah. saying we basically we, we're the same age yeah. my nigga so yep. you know we we've seen different eras so it's like i yeah. bet like what was that era that had you sold on yo like let me take this music shit serious like 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 who like who who was who was like the the, the front runners at the time type shit you know what i'm saying so i started i was always rapping but as far as like putting music out i started mm. around like that 2014 15 era okay so at that time still shout out still yeah, exactly. yeah shout out yeah, yep, that yep, time, yep, yep, which yep. i feel like kind of started this little run it did you know what i'm saying it, did. It, it only went up from there but i started then and um i was young i wasn't really taking it serious serious as i do today but that was like the first introduction to the music scene and me being a part of the scene I'm trying to be a part of the scene respect and um yeah and even thinking like when you were starting back then like what was um as a new artist like where did you feel like you can go my nigga or like you know or or, or like what was you aspiring to you know what i'm saying to be connected with that's the thing i didn't know i was just going in blind and um yeah 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 yeah. i didn't really know what direction i was taking it i was still finding myself musically Mm -hmm. and um still finding my sound and um seeing where i want to go with it and um I needed that. I needed to go through that to get to where I'm at now because you don't just come out and with your best way. It you took a lot bro. for me to get to 1900 Hustler. I had a lot of records. No, nah, on Dolls, bro, I always tell people, you know, if you don't know where something came from, you more than likely don't know where it's going. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah, yeah. It's so, so to double back on your own question, ahead, taking it serious, more so 2019 is when I okay. had a realization, like, I'm doing this music shit. If I'm going to do it, I'm gonna do it on my terms, and if I don't do it, it's gonna be on my terms. It's gonna be. I, I I did it every day. I put my all into it. I'm not gonna have no excuses. Nobody's saying I can't. I'm putting it all on me. So with yeah. that, that comes with you doing it every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. It's consistency. Yeah. Nah. Talk so that shit, when, bro. That's when the consistency mindset started for me. I feel like a lot of niggas hit out. That was their biggest problem when I first started, bro. Niggas couldn't stay consistent for yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I had that for problem. For shit, too. bro. Yeah, I, you know what I'm saying? There. Like, I've been there. I've been there, bro. I've been there. But all right, so that I, I like I was gonna ask this later, but that kind of ties me into this question, bro. It's just like you know, as as an artist, bro. Like I feel like niggas, you know, don't niggas forget the you know the the human part of you know this whole uh, uh, creative journey thing. Where it's just yeah, like you know, before you're a creative, my nigga, you're a human. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, these, Them yeah, bills yeah. got to get paid before you hit yeah. the stool. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Baby boy, baby girl, need the yeah. food, need the you know what I'm yeah. saying? Whatever the case. Exactly. So like you know, as an artist, like you know what portions of your life do you feel might necessarily make it a little bit tougher bro for the music to be present and how are you kind of tiptoeing around trying to you know make that be less of you know what i'm saying the thing you know yeah it's more so just just me being perfectionist mm. want everything to be perfect mm. i get in my i get in my Damn. own way a lot a lot Damn. so it's like i wouldn't really put life situations it's just gonna happen regardless Word. and i'm That's usually real. good in pressure situation it's more so me being in my own way wanting things to be perfect instead of just you know what I'm saying I ain't gonna lie bro dog I'm a nigga bro I've always said I, I can't really work with perfectionists bro and yeah, the reason why yeah. I say that my nigga the reason why I say that bro is cause like, I, like I just, I've just seen perfection stop progress too yeah, many times yeah, just too I, many times I had to get out of my own way that's real shit though bro dog so to, and that's kind of ties into why I changed my name I, I would just kill at first and um okay I changed it to kill the artist cause yeah. I kind of had to kill some of that mm. you know what I'm saying some of that uh, so 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 what does kill come from actually bro kill no my, funny shit. my name my name's a kill okay okay yeah, okay okay got yeah. that guy <laughs> all right all right yeah. make, make 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 sure uh you know what i'm saying niggas can hear you too though bro yeah, oh, my, fault, yeah. my name's that. a kill yeah and, um yeah i was just kill at first k-i-l mm-hmm. and um yeah i felt that just hit me one day bro i just had to kill a lot of myself from getting in my own way damn that shit just wrong. that's hard that's hard that's hard bro mm-hmm. Thank so you. One nine hundred hustler, um, and I'm gonna harp on this project heavy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Only our strength. That's that's really my favorite joint, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Too. Um, you really created like an infomercial for the trap, mm-hmm. my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like no yeah. funny shit, my nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? Down to have having niggas on customer service. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got the zings calling up, <laughs> nigga, talking some bullshit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You 
you niggas is hitting you up and you're like, you know what? That ain't my department. Let me switch yeah, over to this switch. other department. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And 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 that was a way of having, you know, um, bro Goose, you know what I'm saying? Basically yep. be the feature on the song. So, mm-hmm. you know, it was just so well crafted, my nigga. No funny shit, bro. And and I think that's what I like the most about it. Like, you know, like like I was telling you earlier, bro, it didn't just sound like a whole bunch of songs that just got yeah. thrown yeah. on there real quick. You know what I mean? Like yeah, you really took your time. So um what was that inception, bro, of you know, one nine hundred hustler, bro. Like, 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 what, 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 like, what was that moment that I was like, that's it. So you that C I mean? started with, um, that's actually a, a song. It's a whole song. Yep, um, yep, yep. From the Dynasty album. Talk that. Yep, yep. So, um, that song always just stuck out to me, even as a kid. Mm-hmm. Like the creativeness of a, a hotline. Word. So word, word, word. that was just always in the back of my mind, and I'm like, yo, this will be crazy as an album concept. Mm. Uh, r- rock. Rock Dynasty, uh, yeah, like rock familiar. Familiar. okay, yeah, 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 yeah. give it to me. All yes, this, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No funny so, shit. So yeah, that that that's that what the C started man. for that, and um, I turned that concept and just ran with it and, and created a whole like universe around it. Nah, that makes sense, now, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, shit. Uh, in terms of um side B, um, cause. Again, r- respectfully, my nigga, I I, I, I fuck with Side B, bro, it's yeah. good. But just like how we talk, my nigga, it's like, yo, I like 1900 Hustler the most, bro, because it was like, it was a lot of original shit. Yeah. Um, you went on there, you know what I'm saying? You, you beat up a couple of beats, niggas know and shit. Yeah. And like, and like that's cool, you know what I mean? But like, I just love that originality, bro. Like, yeah. like why did you feel uh, Side B was so like necessary, bro? This is why, because after 1900 Hustler, me being like so tied to that album and I put so much into it, I didn't want to just move on from it. Okay, so, and right, I didn't right. want to just, you know what I'm saying? I did not want to put music out. I was right, going to move right, on right. and do a whole nother like project, type project shit. Yeah, and just yeah, yeah. move away from that. The sound. concept's fire, bro. The concept's yeah, fire. 100%. Exactly. So, I wanted to stay with that. So, I'm like, I'm going to just continue it. Yeah. And still have people go to the first one that didn't hit. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. if you hear side B, you automatically think, oh, there must be a side A. So, mm-hmm. My, that was my whole You said that during the intro too yeah, You know exactly. what I'm saying You was alluding to it yeah, During the so, intro so yep. That's just me wanting to put music out And also not wanting to move on From that project Because I feel like that project Was so good And mm. I put so much time into it And I still had records I still had records That could've went on there So I'm like I'm gonna just continue it Bro So that's what Sabi came from yeah. No funny shit like Oh and This is this is a side note Did, yeah. did, did Goose give a shout out To the Flores brothers bro not, 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 in not all yeah, Flores, yeah, bro. Yeah, oh, nah, 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 all right, all right. No was, funny yeah. shit. I was like, yo, that's hard, bro. Bro, <laughs> bro, bro threw them shit. niggas in there. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Was I was, I was, I was. I was assuming it was some other shit, yeah. but in the back of my head, I'm like, damn, bro, yeah. might have fucked yeah, around and threw niggas in there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That would have been dope. Um, that would have been dope. But either way, bro. Um, I feel like you're a talent, my nigga. No funny shit, bro. You, Low key in the shadows, though, my nigga, okay. dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, 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 I know you're that. working on the market and the yeah, shit yeah, like yeah, that. I you feel, feel that. me? I feel like you're low key like a talent that's like in the shadows, my nigga. I personally would love to see you more out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like you know, at like you know, culture events. I call them. You okay. know what I'm saying? Where you'll you'll see the faces that you yeah. see on the gram. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Shit like yeah, that. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I, I would love to see that for you, bro. Cause I honestly genuinely feel like your talent is there, my nigga. Thank and you, and you, it's you, just. You, in terms of the scene growing the way we want it to, yeah. we need it's the strongest great, stories in the loop. Great time, you know what I'm saying? It's like we need time. the strongest stories, bro. And you know, if you're creating concepts like One Nine Hundred Hustler, bro, I definitely want to see where else it goes. You know what I'm saying? In terms yeah. of what other concepts you put together, and yeah, you know what I mean, that's how I kind of want to attack projects. Like, I like yeah, with a, it's a conceptual project. I personally fuck with that, and I feel like if you're gonna present yourself OT, yeah, that's the best way to do yeah, it. Yeah, Instead yeah. of just you know, basically playing Russian roulette. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, yeah, like here's this concept. If you fuck with this concept, I feel like you're gonna fuck with these songs. Yeah, it gotta be a story. You know what I mean? So nah, I, I, I that's what people buy into. I really fuck with it. So I mean, even saying that, bro, like you know, how are you thinking to you know leave your mark, bro? You know, in 2024 with your marketing, bro. Like you know, like 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 how Definitely how you, you said feeling? it, being out in more spaces, creative spaces, right. working with more. Um, Getting your face card to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Working with more artists in the city, and um. That's definitely something I want to do this year. Um, events, throwing my own events, shows. Need that. Your merch, all that, all that shit. You had like a release shit. party joint at yeah, like yeah, the for, store. Um, I had it for um, 
my last album, not before on When I Had a Hustler, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. only built for triple beans. I, I remember I was supposed to pull up money. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a turn off too. That was the first time I threw something like just me. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So more, more of that. Nah, we needed that, nigga. Yeah, why ain't sure. you that for Nine Hundred Hustler, nah, dog? I, 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 what, I, I, what, nigga? Yeah, a, I feel like I'm gonna do a nah, one, year, one year anniversary type shit. We, Talk that shit. Yeah, that 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 would make sense. That would make sense. That's 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 a good story right there. On the list this year. Um. So. You know, if I'm a new, you know, listener of of Kill, right? Kill the mm-hmm. artist, and you know, I'm sitting there telling niggas, yo, this is music discovery. This yeah, nigga is yeah, nice. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, woo, yeah. Woo. What three songs would you go tell a random nigga to go, yo, you gonna be sold on on, on me after these three? You know what I mean? Um, I would do Alpha. Okay. That's one of my favorites, personally. Yes. Yep. Um, yep, yep. All there. All there, all there. Yeah, yeah, all there. We got to chop it up about all there, yeah, too. Yeah, for sure. I'm hip, I'm hip. We're going to do that. And, um, yeah, probably like 01 Hole or something. Oh, definitely all off 1900 Hustler. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like this is my best work. Bro, I, I, bro, yeah, yeah. yeah you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, um, so, you know, you're, I would say, you've arrived, right? You know what I'm right. saying? 1900 Hustler, like, yo, this is a project yeah. that, you know, you can, you can die by, you know what I'm yeah, saying? A okay. nigga sit there and be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you do, you do that, music, yeah. nigga. Yeah, yeah, I stand behind Nigga, that, this yeah. is my shit right here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, my question was, uh, I'm like fucking up my train of thought right now. Okay, boom. So, you've been doing the artistry. You said five years then. I guess we're moving to six now. Um, 2019, about five. Okay, five, five years. Yeah, and um, One Nine Hundred Hustle was number four. Yeah, the yeah, fourth yeah. project, right? So um, from then until when you started back in 2019 or even before then when, when we was talking earlier, yeah, yeah. what's been the most valuable key gem, my nigga, that's actually shown you results type shit? You know what I'm saying? We kind of touched it on it before, already, the consistency. Oh, the, cons- the consistency. Once I, yeah, number once one I, thing. Yeah, once I number logged in thing. on wow. that, like I, feel like, that's every, crazy. I feel like everything changed. It's simple. Like, and, and I still got room to grow for sure. And um, But I feel like once that, once I, I, I did a run of freestyles, 2022? Yep, yep, yep. You did, you did the Shook Ones joint. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember yeah, we put yeah. up the I video. Did like, I did like a 10, 10, 10 run of um, freestyles videos with him, and I feel like, mm-hmm. and that was coming like every month. T, can you check these cameras just to make sure they're still running? I feel like um, when I did that, everything started changing. It's, and that's I started that year. I started in February, and I did the first one. I did the um, Benny and J. Cole joint. Mm. P. That was the first one I did. Yep, yep. I remember I, that. Before, yep, a yep, month yep. before that, I was saying I'm going to do something every month. And then just see how it goes, and I I don't give a fuck what's going on in my life. I got you know what I'm saying. That's good, bro. And when I did that, I got results, and I'm like, consistency really is key. When the when the products did, when the products yeah. did, and it's quality. Yeah. The consistency is everything. <clears throat> That's it. It's the game changer. Nah, bro, I fucking love all that money because yeah. it's, it's just so simple, my nigga. It's you know simple, what I'm and it's it, it's something that's said a lot, nah, but yeah. no, it, it's yeah. hard. It, it's hardly. Active yeah. is preached, but it's hardly active. Okay. Type shit. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yo, bro. I, I fucking love me. Mean, you know, you know, even talking about the longevity museum, bro, seeing 10 years, my yeah. nigga, is, is, you know, just and just thinking how quick 10 years was. Yeah. And, and to be real, exactly. if somebody was to ask me about it, it's not something that I could tell them that, that I, I felt in yeah. this moment. Yeah. I know I went through it, mm-hmm. but it, it ain't something like that, it. I, you know what I mean? It feel like it. it so, like it. you know, that in itself, my nigga, mm-hmm. is... The reason for anybody I feel to just stick to whatever that they're doing, because yeah, exactly. even when you get to the finish line, you're not even gonna feel Man. whatever pain you was going through, like yeah, legit. Closer where you going and where you came from, you like you ten years in. That's nasty work, ten bro. Yo, bro, I, I I appreciate you keeping the consistency going, my nigga, dog, because yeah, it led niggas that, to one nine hundred, one nine hundred hustler. Um, that mentality is kind of what you you preached today earlier when we got a so snowstorm right now. You like nah. Oh, <laughs> like, like let's let's go. Nah, 100%, that's the, that's my the nigga. consistency, bro. That's what you need. When you have that mentality, it's, it's hard to lose. Bro. It's hard to it's lose, hard to my lose. nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to stop you too. I think about um niggas like Marshawn Lynch. I think about niggas yeah. like no funny shit. This might be corny, but niggas like Naruto. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like the story of Naruto is one of the best yeah. stories ever, bro. Low key, mm-hmm. my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just 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 keep going. Yeah, exactly, um, exactly, exactly. But so. I always talk to niggas about them, me feeling like niggas here have a lack of like a brand of music. Like, you know, if if, if it's like, I bet like when I when I say kill the artist, it's like, mm-hmm. what do I think? You know what I mean? Like if, if you had that elevator pitch, bro, this uh, uh 
the biggest music exec bros in the elevator with you type shit. This nigga's yeah. over here messing around with his tie type shit, trying to, yeah, get, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. Yeah. You're like, fuck, I know who this nigga is, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, I can't yeah. I can't let this moment go. Uh-huh. What one sentence would you give, you know what I'm saying, to be like, yo, this is who I am as an artist type shit? And you know these niggas yeah. get niggas telling them this type of shit all the time. So your yeah. story gotta stick out. Yeah. Yeah. I would what you say, think you would say, my nigga? It may sound cliche, but I would say. I feel like I'm a breath of fresh air, mm-hmm. cause in these, it's fit in these polluted times, bro. We all know what that feels like. Type shit. The breath of fresh air feels like, and it's a familiar feeling, but it's also like, it's fresh. It's like, and I feel like that's what my music is, bro. And in, in, in these times right now, it's 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 new, but it also gives you that feeling of when you fell in love with hip hop, or it's just it also had a nostalgic feel to it. Mm. So, yeah, I feel like that's what I bring. I fuck These with times it. times right now. Would you do that like as the doors is opening type shit? And then, and then, <laughs> and then you dip off type shit into the sunset, my nigga? <laughs> hey, hey, you, you paved the picture real well, man. Uh, it probably won't work, go like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I'm fucking it, bro, man. Yeah, you know I mean? Nah, good. nah, nah. That's exactly how we know. Niggas ask you in the interviews, and that's what you would tell niggas. Yeah. But nah, it never um, goes like that, though. I mean, shit, bro. You never know, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of execs in Boston, low key, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we getting it. Um, we getting it. So I mean, all right, bro. So, or from Boston, I should say. These niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's a lot I of Boston. There's I a lot digress. of Boston and mass people in the industry, low key. You know what I mean? Low key. So 2024. Musically, you know, we, we we talked about you know just the consistency and, and, and stepping out, but you know, musically, what what can we expect type shit? Um, I'm actually I got a project that's coming out next month with um, Billy Escobar. Um, so we looking out for that. Yo, to roll that out. You and him, my nigga, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That, that 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 combo's a one, bro. Yeah, the that's combo's my a one, my nigga. That's my cousin. That's our. That's, it's your cousin, cousin. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, dope, yeah, my yeah. nigga. No funny shit. Like the um the joints uh. I hope you make it. I'm pretty sure. He, mm, yeah, yeah, hope you, you know make what I'm saying. It, like, yo, yeah, no bro, the nah. both of them, both of them, yo. Like the way y'all niggas, bro, fucking yeah, um, compliment each other, bro, is fire. Tough, bro, it's tough. So yeah, it's I got hard. that with him coming, and um, yeah, I'm trying to put out about four projects this year. I'm trying to put more. I put two last year. So let me just ramp up the projects. I ain't gonna lie, you know, I I think about artists like Body Rock, bro. Yeah, consistent as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Talk about consistent. Bro, really just cut through the noise, like nigga. On dogs, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Fuck, what, what and, and, doing, and it's saying? just so sticky, you it's know what I'm saying? It's so sticky, bro. That's I, I love using that word, my nigga, dog, because it's just like, damn, nigga, you yeah. can't not feel that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, his presence is felt. I I feel like he's definitely been one of like you know one of the the the, the doper uh, stories, my nigga, within the last couple of years that yeah. have like kind of popped yeah, it's up. Been like new. What, two three years. Hundred percent, hundred percent, my nigga. So yeah. um. You know, bro. I just, I just, uh, you know, if if anything, I just genuinely like to see the same for you, my nigga. Cause I, cause yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, genuinely sure. see, um, I see your talent, bro. There, my nigga, dog. I see, um, your storytelling abilities, fire. Thank you. Um, and I see, and I see you, I see you collab with a lot of different like niggas as well, bro. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? I mean, like, I've definitely been you, collabing a lot more. You, 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 you kind of like that, 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 that super neutral guy, yeah, my nigga. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that yeah, super sure. neutral I'm guy. You know what I'm saying? Gucci anywhere. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's important, bro. No funny shit, especially in Boston with this yeah, whole, with you know, quote unquote shit, hater yeah. mentality you know saying, shit. Man, you just gotta be, you gotta be cool with everybody, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My like, dog, you know, man, man. My dog, bro. Shout out to everybody you doing their thing, man. So I'm definitely doing. I'm trying to. Go ahead. There's a few people I'm trying to work with. Okay, yo, yo, talk to me. And Bell. Super that tight. yo, nah, we we gotta make that happen. Cause I see yeah, that. Yeah, nah, it's, I it's, see it's, that. It's in the works. It's okay, in the talk works. that it's shit. In the, it's in the works. It's in the works. And it's my dog, yeah, bro. That's, yeah, that's fine. Bro. I really focus on him, bro, bro. And um, a couple other niggas. Shake Hanif too. That's another one. Shake, shake. Yup, 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 yup. There's a lot of niggas out here. I see, I see them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Along the same like you know wavelength mentally. You know what I'm saying? As you too. You know yeah, what I'm saying? exactly. So I, I definitely see? think it can yeah, mesh yeah, well. That that line real easy. You know what I mean? Um. Would those be like your basically like your top three right now that that you would wanna? How, how about producer wise? Like like where, where you at like producers? You know what I'm saying? You, you 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 we talked about it off camera. Earlier, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Like Devo, my dog bro. Devo. Yep, yeah, little bro, bro Devo going crazy. Before you said that I was already a fan. Me and bro kind of uh brief conversation in passing. Yeah. Bro, um, right up the alley, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I low-key love this shit, my nigga, dog. It's like, yo, it's it's going to get to a point where it's really like Dipset Zotas, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Within the culture. But it's just like, there's just so many of us kind of like, 
you know, in the fold yeah, with each yeah, other. It's going to be hard to call it hate. It's going to be hard to kind of call it. I think we're about to knock that, that, you know that stigma down, bro. That's been a stigma in Boston for Listen, a long time. Listen, bro. Like, we getting over that. So so talk to me, bro. Is there anything that you feel like, you know, we didn't necessarily touch on, you know, as, as far as yourself as an artist, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know you're a breath of fresh air. You're an amazing yeah. lyricist. One 900 Hustler was kind of so, like, you know, your main baby, you know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. what, what might we be missing, bro? We touched on, I want to touch on this mural you got. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Talk that shit. This is real fitting for me. <laughs> respect, not respect. Only on a music level, yeah. He, he's an inspiration just in life, bro. That's a fact. He's That's like, a fact. With a nigga coming from my background and similar to his, like, you know, being from the streets and shit, and to stay positive, do it all. Consistent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And just diligent, bro. That was a story, like, that I follow as a young nigga coming up in this nah, shit, Nah, same, same, my nigga, and same. Left, and he left a whole mantra and a mentality, the marathon, but that's something you can live by, not just music, bro. I mean, even, you know, um, the Museum TV's mantra is an inch a day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, I, exactly. and I can't sit there and say there's, there's no influence to that, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying he left niggas with something, bro, and that's all you can do in life, bro, is just inspire. He said it, bro, and that niggas inspire me daily, bro. Nah, Nip, Nip, yeah. I, I, I don't think hip-hop is going to find a more productive story that was still so tied to the to the streets yeah. um and and that'll still penetrate to that level i i don't know i hope we see it but i'm, I'm just bro, not I'm sure bro. you know bro, what i'm saying lines that would just there's lines that stick out that chain my life he's I smoke nigga so, same I, bro i smoke so much yeah. weed i should read more like, yeah 100 <laughs> like that is i had just put up a quote <laughs> on my story the other day man it's from I, I personally think tmc was his like hardest work you yeah. know what i'm saying i, I It'd be tough to say it's his best work, but I, th I think TMC was his hardest work. And when I say that, yeah. it was after he had her arrived with the, with the marathon. So so now, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. he's puffing his chest a little bit. Yeah, he definitely it's, it was like, with that. You know what I mean? Then Crenshaw, he just, he was out of here with you, that. You feel me? And, you know, he had a line that, you know, another just testament to just longevity and just making sure that you're, you're uh, intentional about your shit. And he was just like, yo, you know, you, you can make a hundred million and fuck a thousand hoes, but when it's all over, all that counts is how the story's told. You yeah, know what I'm saying? saying? And it's just like, you know, and, and, that's, and that's just really what it is. You know, everybody's going to end up having a perspective on, you know, what you're doing and, and, you know, what it is. But I just think, you know, there's always going to be two sides to the story, right? And I just think you got to make sure that you're nurturing that, that side that you would want niggas, you know what I'm saying, speaking yeah, yeah. on. Yeah, exactly. What you going to leave behind? Behind, bro. Nah, my dog, man, my behind. dog, bro. All that matters. So, project with um Billy Escobar. Um, yep. what's that next month? You yeah, said it's gonna be called Beast. Feb February. February. Um, yeah. which y'all on like 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 some Lover Boy shit? What we on? Nah, nah. It's to the streets. It's actually another con conceptual album. I don't want to give it out. Okay, me. respect, respect. It it's like a movie, bro. I was just, yo, I was just, yeah. tell, I was just telling my young homies this show. I'm like, yo, bro, I feel like, you know, again, we come from that earth, so we understand it, yeah, my nigga. Yeah. It's like, yo, I feel like. The skits and the yeah, interludes yeah, and all that, bro, is like a missing promotional it's tool, bro. It's like exactly. it's a promotional it tool, is, bro. It's it a is. way to tie niggas into the music that you got. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it helps you paint the picture a lot better than just the music. Talk your shit, bro. That shit's kind of like a little secret weapon. My nigga, I've been man. With. Nah, I, I I love it, bro. I love it, my nigga. And I can't wait to see more, bro. Thank you, bro. Um, where can people follow you, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Kill the like, artists on everything, man. Instagram. It's K I L. K I L the artist. Cause you know motherfuckers gonna hit killing. Hell yeah, you know that's the, thanks for pointing that out. It's K I L the artist. YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all that shit. All right. Just tap in. Respect, man. Respect, man. Respect, man. It's the Museum the TV, man. Uh, man. You know what I'm saying? We're exhibiting the culture stories all 2024 also. You know what I'm saying? 10-year anniversary, 2024. We started 2014. We've been exhibiting the culture stories for 10 years for y'all. Um, You know, just, 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 just trying to spread some positive vibes through a quote-unquote, you know, just, just infested, hated uh, atmosphere. Whatever niggas was saying. You know what I mean? None of that shit mattered. You feel me? Yeah. And we're heading out today, bro, still... You know, trying to just shift the minds and, you know what I'm saying, help the culture move forward, you feel me? And that's yeah, what we're about. Yeah. You know, this is music discovery right now, you know what I mean? We're shifting away from what we was doing, music discovery. We're trying to make sure everybody on that couch, we can genuinely talk about, we genuinely fuck with, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. at this point, after 10 years, we've seen a lot of artists. So to try and speak on biases and shit like that is just asinine at this point, my yeah, nigga. Man, you know what I'm saying? You, you so. You know, and, and, and that's what it's been, you know. It took a while to, to gain the trust, bro. So I'm, I'm just grateful to be here, my nigga. And, you know, as long as, you know, we, we keep it at the essence, I think we'll be all right. And I think, yeah. you know, we'll be able to find more artists like yourself, bro, the champion. 
and the shit just keeps going, my nigga. Yes, sir. You man. know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank bro, you, much man. respect, my nigga. Thank you for pulling thank up, bro. You First interview in a new spot. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? Much yes, respect, sir, bro. Man. Kicked it off right. Look, bro, look, man. Once again, my name is Noble, created Museum TV, man. We are bosses, premier vloggers, living in the culture stories. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Music man. discovery. You know what I'm saying? That's the vibe right now. I'm going to see y'all next time in our next sit down. Look, I'm going to promise you everybody on this couch is fire. And if it ain't, you know, your necessary flavor, yeah. you can't even hate on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Until next time. For real, for real. Yeah. You can tell me nothing, I'll stay down. You can't tell me nothing, I'll stay down for that coming.